Bowman here from BW1.com and in this video we're going to do a beginner's guide to Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So in this video, it's going to be a tips video. It's really meant for the beginning Android user. They've, they've decided to get on the Android train and the first Android device they have is an Android 4.0 device. This is going to be based upon the stock experience as well too. So for some of you out there that are advanced, this might be in, it's a lot of stuff that you already know. But for some new people, some people that you know that are new to Android that are always asking you questions, some tips in here here will really kind of help them sort of use their phone and kind of get things going. Like I said, it's going to be sort of a beginner's guide. So let's get started. All right, one of the first things I want to go over here is basic navigation through the Android operating system, uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. You're going to see some devices that aren't going to have uh, physical capacitive touch, touch buttons. They're just going to have on-screen buttons similar to what the Galaxy Nexus has, which has back, home, and a multitask button. Some might have the hardware ones in the future, but just for this case, we're just going to show you how these work. This backs takes you basically back out of any application. This is your home button, it takes you home, as you see there, and this is your multitasking button. So any application that you have running will be listed right here. And this is really the most important thing you really need to know. So you can go into any of them. So if I wanna jump right into, into um, let's say into Twitter, I can jump right into that. I can head back home just like that. And if I say I wanna close out of Twitter, and this is the important part, is closing out applications, all you need to do is to swipe in either direction and now the application is closed so you can do that for several different ones too close out all of them so they're not running in the background and not eating up battery life which is pretty useful and also with navigation what we'll include here is your notifications as you can see right up there I got a notification just that just I uh, said I got a new message swipe down here so, uh, it brings down notification tray and I saved all these lovely notifications for you guys to see here now this is going to be for your text messaging, Facebook, app updates, any application that basically wants to notify you of something that you set to have a notification will show up right within here, which is nice and convenient. And sometimes you get a whole long list like this and you might want to check some while keeping some there available to you. So let's say I don't want my Twitter anymore. I don't want to really know my new messages on Twitter. All you have to do is swipe, and now that goes away. Facebook, I don't want to know that. Swipe, and that goes away. You can go individually into each one of them if you want to as well, too. And I say, I don't want these. And you see how easy it is. It just kind of swipes away like that. And easy and simple enough there. But let's say um, instead you do, you just don't, we want to clear them all out. You hit the X button. Clears out all of them so you don't have any notifications at all. So that's just a great way of sort of being able to manage and, and your notifications there and kind of see sort of your basic directions and navigation with Android 4.0.